what the heck? Huh? Wait, there shouldn't be anybody in here. There wasn't... Yeah, I don't think there was anybody in here last time. It was close. Where is everybody? Detectives usually work the day shift. Okay, but which office is Baxter's? It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay. I couldn't look at that picture last time, so I... Hmm. Alright, let's get back there. I've already been back here, so... Are you trying to get caught? You're about as stealthy as a tornado. <sighs> the desk was like that when we got here. Yeah, I know. How many places can you hide a book in one tiny little room? Who knows? What is making those sounds? I couldn't even hear the sound. Uh, my mug shot. I thought Rex pressed. I thought there was a. I guess that. Looks like someone was hiding your real rap sheet. Now I have proof. Hmm. He never used that blackmail file against me. Sure, take your time. No rush. I'm sure that book will find itself. All right, just calm down a second here. Cops don't hide things in plain sight. Just need to figure this out. Need to find the witness's mother's book. You have one. Uh, Rex prevented Baxter from blackmailing me and using my criminal record against me. Good guy. Good guy. Bragging, a bowling champion. So that's what Baxter does in his free time, huh? Yeah. What's that? Promotion, accommodation. Man, he was proud of making detective. What's that? Serve and protect. Academy class photo. I to graduate from the academy two years before I did. Okay. New message. Maybe you should listen to it? Someone left a message on Baxter's voicemail. Yeah, maybe you should listen to that. Ooh, what's that? Terrors of 1692 Salem's Disgrace. Baxter's been reading about Salem's history. Doesn't seem like something he would care about. You never know. Hey, can you check that voicemail message? Okay. Baxter, I told you you're off the case. Now we need all the files in that psychic's book in my office now. Rex was still asking for the book, so it is probably still in here somewhere. Good. Okay, so Rex probably had the book somewhere in his office because Rex was still looking for it. Is 
there anything else in here that I can... Ooh. What the hell? What caused that mark on the wall? Um... What? It's clearly behind this rack. You can see it's supposed to move. That's just the gun rack. It's, uh, stain. Printed. Gun rack. Gun rack actually look actually opens on hinges like it's covering a secret compartment or area. Hidden lever. Must be a latch inside that opens inward. Strange latch secures the gun rack on one side. That's not normal. No fucking shit. Better tell the girl. Tickets. What? Ticket out of town. Why would Baxter leave town? Oh, he's uh, suspicious. Hey. I think I found it. Show me. There's a button on the side of the gun rack. Yes, this is it. Please tell me you understand what all these symbols are. Yep, yeah, some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh God, that means he was after her. You don't know that. Come on, we should move. Oh, crap. Good job, dipshit. I don't know. Just, just take it and figure it out later. She's here somewhere. I'll check here. Head toward the back office. We gotta go. Stay out of sight. Go, go. Oh, uh, well, it looks like we're going to the museum sometime soon. Like I said in one of the last parts. Yeah. Salem History Museum, Gala Flyer. Why would this be in her mother's book? Because she probably went to the fucking museum at some time. Uh, okay. That's Speed up, girl. Don't really seem to care too much about the phones. It's like the copiers and the coffee machines that they really get distracted by. How are we going to get out of here? Well, I mean, how's she going to get out of here? Uh. What do you. Do I gotta talk to you? Yeah. Hold up, hold up. I need to make sure the coast is clear. Rex. Who's that? Cop, you need to avoid. Alright, you're gonna need to make a break for that room over there, but wait for my signal. Hey, LT, pull up. You know what this fire drill's all about? Go, go, go. What is she related to Houdini? Those doors locked from the outside. <laughs> yeah, I'll check after we catch her. Hey, uh, you know, I just wanted to say that uh, you know, Ron, he was uh, he was top notch. He was bad for Donna. I hate it when people lie to me. I'm not lying. I just, you know, there's no reason to trample on his grave. Well, he wore the badge because he thought it was intimidating, right? He thought it would make up for all the crap he did when he was younger. It would make it right or better. 
Maybe prove to the guys around here that he wasn't the guy they thought he was. You know what? I heard the rumor, Sarge. I know a lot of the guys thought he lived his life on the wrong side of the prison. Not, 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 not everyone. It's okay. Uh, their conversation, like the subtitles for it, is so garbage. He would look you in the eyes and he would tell you exactly what he thought, right? I gotta tell you, that sort of bravery, rare thing these days. Ain't that much to be proud of? At least he didn't try to hide who he was. I'm sorry, sir, but uh, it's been hard on everyone. What I just say about lying to me? Ha! Fucking get it, Mustang. Put your gloves on and slap him in the face. Rob, what is this place? The all killer war room. Everything we know about the case so far. Well, I got what I need, so. See hey! Ya. If you keep trying to do this alone, you're gonna get yourself killed. How about I just leave it as. Oh, you won. Crap. Okay. So I'm gonna have to just walk back out this way, I guess. Near the gas station. I missed something near the gas station? Hmm. Okay. Well, we're right out by the gas station, so maybe I can do a... Real quick scan. Hey, you can't get away that easy. If you care about the case so much, find your own damn clue. You won't find your mother without me. What? Oh, fuck. What would make her help me? Witnesses destination. Uh, that probably. Witness is headed to the police station to track down her mother's book. No, that's no. Her mother, uh, not safe anymore. I'll try to find before I. Maybe that then? Because it wouldn't be that, that was... Yeah. Leave now, find my book at the station, and don't look back. Alright, listen. Your mom wrote that book to help find the killer. It's not going to say what happened to her. The truths we're both searching for can only be answered by finding the killer. I need a pair of hands in the living world, and you need a detective. The last case. Ashlyn Hill Cemetery. They can't see it, but it's there. What? I don't know, I guess, I guess my mom thought there was a case that was linked to the bell killer. Cops didn't. Okay, we go there next. Ashland Hills. <laughs> we? Oh, come we. on, we need each other. You need me a lot more than I need you. Either way, partners. Fine. For now. For now is all I worry about. Ronan. My name is Ronan O'Connor. I'm... Joy. Seriously? And Ronin is better? Why don't your parents think you'd be a medieval gladiator? So we're really going to a cemetery, huh? Yep. Uh, I, I actually do something, so I'll, uh, I'll just meet uh, you there. Uh, 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 no, 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 I'm not letting you ditch you me again. You follow me, the deal is off. It was meant to be, I'll see you there. If not, I won't. Oh, you better show up to that cemetery, kid. You're the only living person I have left. Uh, it's weird, girl. What the fuck? Okay.
so we're buddies now, and we're not going to the museum yet. Looks like we're heading towards the cemetery, which should be interesting. No, oh, nothing with that guy. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe it's just something back, back behind there that I still have to get like that, whatever that is. Because there's still two things by the cemetery that, or the gas station that I have to get. That's where the museum is. Hmm. Those symbols still throw me off. I just don't know what they do or what they're supposed to mean. Alright, so we could head over that way. Which, how long have I been recording? I gotta check. Check, make sure everything's still running, too. Um. I go for a couple more minutes. We could get to the next area at least, see what's gonna happen. Uh, it's all the way over there. I've cleared things out kind of pretty well in this area so far, so we don't really have to stop and do a whole bunch of searching and whatnot, so we can just, uh, just kind of go right there. Actually, I want, I want to check this out, because I think this is where... Yeah, it's right over there. Hmm. It's interesting. Interesting, interesting. Wasn't there a guy... Oh, what's up? Fuck Frank up. He betrayed me. He said he'd love me forever, but he's marrying someone else. Did he cheat on me with her? I always thought there was someone else. Was it her? Does it matter? It looks like he's moved uh. on. Maybe you should too. I can't. Not until I know the truth. Please, I must know. For better or worse. All right. I'll look in. Did he cheat on her? Oh boy. This. Okay. This old thing. Wait. What's that? Scorned, broken heart. So I have. Hmm. What we remind him of his ex. God, I don't even want to know. Uh, neither of those, I'm guessing. Do you have. Uh... Yeah, I'll have to remember to talk to that guy because I think he was groundskeeper or something. So do I just do that? Okay. I still don't know why she killed herself. Everything seemed great. Guess that's why I'm so nervous with Susanna. The thing is, if she hadn't jumped off that cliff, I never would have found my real soulmate. Man, it's so messed up. Hmm. Looks like he met this girl after his ex died. Yeah? Okay. What would remind her of her fiancé's ex? Uh, ex-girlfriend suicide, I'm guessing. Okay. Seems to be something... what? Well, that's the only other clue that I have, so... Maybe that's why he's always been so hesitant. 
I wouldn't blame him, but it sucks that she's the reason I even approached him. He looks so hurt and broken. Like he needed someone to talk to. I didn't expect to fall in love with him. Weird how things work out. She was just trying to be a friend. She never anticipated this. Okay. Did he cheat on her? Um... Order of events. Oh, okay. Fuck. Then that. All right. I'm stupid. I kind of rushed into that. This was all a big misunderstanding. I'm not sure how she'll take it, but I guess I'll find out. Yeah, uh, here you go. Got some stuff for you. The good news is he wasn't cheating on you. The bad news is. Your suicide brought them together. So... So he really loved me? Looks like it. I've made a big mistake. He still thinks about you. Maybe you can take comfort in knowing that you'll never be forgotten. I suppose. I just wish I had trusted him more. Maybe it could have been us getting engaged. What's done is done, I guess. Anyways, thanks for everything. Eh, no problem. Uh, helped another person, so that's cool. What's this guy gotta say? You got anything else to say now? Oh. Well, alright. Hmm. I can at least get a look at this area. I used to see this as Julia's final resting place. Now it's just where her body is buried. Guess I'll be buried here soon. This is home to neither of us. Just the place for others to come and remember what they used to know. <laughs> Great. Another freaky ghost chick is shadowing me. Sorry it's been so long, Julia. Okay, I'm at this part here, and we will pick up here next time. We will start up the cemetery and see what we have in store for us. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.